video we will be doing GCD of two numbers using command line arguments ok so let's begin the header declarations are here then we have the user defined function GCD which will help us to calculate the GCD of two numbers ok in the main function the two arguments are ARGC and ARGB ARGC keeps the count of the number of arguments and ARGB contains those arguments now in A we are storing the first argument and in B we are storing the second argument then we call our function gcd to calculate the gcd of the two numbers passed by a command line ok now we come to the function here what the function actually does now suppose if we take a as 4 and b as 6 ok we have to calculate the gcd of two number 4 and 6 ok so now 4 is greater than 6 not not equals to 6 then we will enter this block in this block now 4 is compared with 6 is 4 greater than 6 no then we will come to else block now what it is returning return gcd a comma b minus a that is what basically returning 4 gcd of 4 comma 6 minus 4 that is 2 that is gcd of 4 and 2 now we will come here again since it is recursive so we will come here again and here what we are calculating 4 and 2 ok now you see is 4 equals to 2? No. So we will enter this block. Now in this block is 4 greater than 2? Yes. Now what is it is returning? 4 minus 2 and 2. Ok. 4 minus 2 and 2. That is what? 2 and 2. Now what? Again recursive. So here what we will we'll go here again. And here it is 2 and 2. Is this equal to 2? Is it not equal to 2? It is equal to 2. So we will come here and return A. What is A? A is 2. So GCD is GCD of 4 and 6 is 2. So that's it. Now let's save the program and see the output. And close. Sorry. Save. This is A space minus O space test test dot c let's see if any errors no error now let's calculate the 12 and 16 4 you can check any number 3 and 18 it's obviously 3 let's check some other number 48 and 64 so this is how gcd is being calculated Thanks for watching.